one finer detail. This is where we paint the hooves. And then by the time you get over there, it's all worn off. But you have to make the effort. So now we are ready, ready. So, drive down to Lear was quite nice. Arriving in Lear, not so nice. It's about minus a million outside. These are the training times for the main arena tonight. So, Wally and I at around 10 o'clock, Claire with Bella around 10.30, and Svenja is at 11.45. So, first day in Lear, it's going to be a cold old night. So I dreaded taking the ski pants off to put those cold things on. So back to the truck, uh, 20 to 1. So ending up a late evening and a cold, very, very cold one. Everyone sort of walking around bitterly frozen to the bone. But the show must go on. Uh, training time tomorrow morning, 7.40. So, quarter to six, six o'clock, get up. Make sure Wally has uh, his breakfast and has time to settle. And then we get in the saddle just for a go around in the main arena again. Um, just so that he becomes familiar and knows exactly what to do in his body and what mental state to be in in the arena that he has to do the performance in and so then we are ready for the first round of the priest and george it's class starting tomorrow evening five o'clock so we'll see you in the morning if i wake up so 6 a.m it's only a little bit cold Are you serving a special delicacy here, Michael? Is, it, is this something special from Rotterdam? Special, special morning breakfast for the horses from Rotterdam. Is it called yeah. Wattles on the Rocks? Wattles are nice. Yeah. <laughs> 8.30. Training done. Got my stylish slippers on, warm tea, and a bit of breakfast. Resting ponies. Sleeping ponies. Good Wally. Bit of after training, changing the sweating blankets, brushing a bit the sweat out. While he's cleaning his blankets. So, are you ready for the vet check? You just want to stay in the box and sleep. It's just a formality, a really boring formality. So while he was perfect in his trot up, now we just wait for Claire a little bit. 
make sure Bella is behaving. She's getting ready over there. Having the blankets off. Get her assistants helping. Jane waiting in line. She's chatting up the vet, making sure she gets a good spot. <clears throat> All the men here looking really official. The vet, Jack Vandal, the judge here at the end. So between the little trees there, walk at this one, trot at the next one, down around and trot back and hope that your horse doesn't limp. Here's Avon Hara. Dutch rider, the very handsome chestnut, beautiful running style. <laughs> Small girl on a big horse. So there you have it, trot up at Lear. You ready, Clary? Ready, steady. Ready, steady, go. So even though we've done the vetting now, I'm just taking the opportunity to be in the main arena again one time. So I'm just getting Wally in a good pattern. That he is in a good mindset, relaxed, try to really set the posture in the body that he's super relaxed. So he's dropping the neck. He sees the judges boxes, he sees the scoreboard and we just set this feeling in his body, this pattern. So when he comes back in we hope that he's feeling the relaxed zone and keeping control of himself in the ring. So I do this by Coming to the positions where you make it tense, the judge's box, we wait for him to drop his head. We really set the body posture so he's finding a position of rest in the areas of the arena where I think he might be tense or if he might get a bit anxious, we try to get him to set a new relaxed posture in those areas. So we really set a pattern for later on in the ring. So some very important equine facts here. As you can see, there is a whole pile of good hay here from Langenbaum, but young Wally here sees that it's much of an opportunity to go around the corner and eat the neighbor's stockpile of hay. Dining out somebody else's mm -hmm. restaurant why his own hay stands on the floor. Wally, is that allowed? <laughs>